Hi guys, Base Golly here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a different video. Today I'm finally going to do, re do the review on my Fanatec CSL Elite F1 set that Fanatec very kindly sent me. So we're going to go over that, I'm going to just try and cover the basics for all of you guys, boys and girls that are wondering if you should buy one or not, and exactly if it's worth the upgrade from my trusty Logitech G29 to this absolute monster here. So we're going to go over that, I'm going to go through all the basics, we're not going to make it too complicated, we're going to be talking about how it feels, and whether you think it's worth upgrading from your Logitech G29 or, or Thrustmaster T150 to one of these bad boys. So let's crack on with the review. You feel almost twice as much. So much harder to get it. Look at that. See how violently and quickly So this is the CSL Elite Fanatec wheelbase here. This is what you'll be attaching all your wheels to. It is much bigger than the Logitech G29. However, it normally fits on all sorts of play seats that you've got. Um, there's three screws at the bottom so you can fit it all in nice and easy. And this thing here is where you're gonna be plugging your wheel in. You've got the power button here, some absolute awesome LED lights over there, and you've got different modes. So that light will be red when you're on PC, and then it'll be blue for when you're on PlayStation. So with the CSL wheelbase, we got the F1 set, which means we get this absolutely beautiful F1 style wheel, which is just gorgeous. Um, the feel and the quality is just sublime. I mean, if you look at this as well, just the absolute quality and the just even the clicks just feel so premium. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, and to be fair, fitting it on is quite easy. So you just put it on there like this, and then you pull this back like that, and then you put it in, and you're in. Simple as that. So this is what I was talking about earlier guys. So you've got the mode button and the power button. So we're gonna see what happens right now when you turn it on for the first time. So if you press it there, you'll see a red light. You'll see the LEDs pop up. And then you'll see the wheelbase configure and figure out what wheel it's got plugged in. So it's gonna do the whole 1080 degrees. Uh, and then yeah, it will collaborate and then it will put it straight in the middle of that. Get some um, lights up on the dash and there you go. Ready to rock and roll. So these are the CSL Elite pedals that you get with this set. Obviously you've got your accelerating pedal here and then you've got your brake pedal here. Um, just at, well, at what's really awesome about these pedals is you can actually take this, if I can actually get it out, bit of rubber here and you take this off and you can actually change where you want the accelerator and brake to be. So if you like it closer, you can just move it along with these Allen keys, tighten it up. I like a nice gap between the two because I'm not too worried about a clutch pedal at all. So I'm just, this is how I've got it set up. But you can adjust it to however you like and you could just pop this back on and it hides all the belts and stuff like that and you are, again, good to go. Okay then everyone, so what I've done is I've loaded up a race on GT Sport. It's gonna be a two lap sprint race here. Uh, we're just gonna see exactly what this wheel is like on GT Sport with the pedals as well, just to see if we can really feel a difference. I've chosen Autodrome Lagio Maggior because it's massive, um, there's massive hill sections here, so we're gonna really feel it. I'm gonna feel the negative camber as well and positive camber going through the corner. So let's jump into this race then and let's see what we can do. Okay, so as soon as the game is giving me control of the wheel, I can feel that force feedback coming up straight away. The first braking section there, I feel like I'm having to press down that brake pedal so much harder than I'm used to in my Logitech G29, but that's not necessarily a bad thing here, because I can really feel just how hard I'm having to push the car to get it to slow down to go through those corners, and my Logitech G29, you just used to press it and it was just there was just no response to it whatsoever but going through the corners here you can really feel the the brakes as soon as you put your foot down uh, it's quite brilliant actually going through there and then as I go through this right hand you can fighting with the wheel especially going up there that it's constantly fighting with it there feels really really good and responsive force feedback is not too strong it's just about where you want it to be Straight away it gives you confidence in the car, you don't want to push too much though because you're not used to the force feedback. 
I will say going from a Logitech G29 to a wheel such as this, you really feel the difference in the wheel. You feel almost twice as much the bumps, the curves. I'm changing the gear as well with this <laughs> with this steering wheel just feels so satisfying. That click, um, <laughs> it's very nice to say the least. Okay, going through this uphill left hander. Again, you can see, as soon as I touch the curves of the grass, look, look at that, you can see the wheel saying, what are you doing, mate? I'm going to try and sneak past the inside here. Nice stuff. Again, it's as soon as you start touching the curves or anything like that, the wheel immediately reacts. It can tell it's not on a smooth surface anymore, and it just will not comply as nicely as it did before and so there's a prime example there touch the grass wheel gets a little bit out of shape we've got some free air here now we'll try and crack on see if we can get these guys got some oversteer there you can still see the wheel snapping back you can see the um, you can see the LEDs coming up in the steering wheel as well which are absolutely awesome I love the colours I love the blue the blue dials here, which is absolutely awesome, and uh, you temporarily lose the speed as it tells you what gear you're in, which is um, which is pretty cool. Albeit, I will say that you're probably concentrating on the road so much, and on the screen ahead of you, you don't probably take too much notice of this. But still, it's a very, very um, cool thing to see. It's exactly what you get in real life, I guess. Uh, if you are using this kind of wheel, you definitely get some sort of information new speed and and current gear you're in so it's a very very nice touch right, I'm just going to fly past the inside of this BMW here oh we've had to get on the brakes then we'll contact there we'll give us enough space we'll get the slipstream here and you can just really feel it on the brakes here really just smashing the brake pedal got over those um, there's like sausage curbs uh, in the middle of the apex there and the force feedback straight away is saying there's something there you need to be careful and then you can you know adjust to it accordingly there we go I will say for the first week or so you have this you're going to feel like <laughs> it sounds strange you're going to feel like almost like an it's an exercise when you're doing this because you're you're fighting the wheel so much, um, especially in games on like iRacing racing and Assetto Corsa. Um, they're much more demanding than GT Sport. So this is, I'd say, the force feedback is probably feels twice as strong as the Logitech G29. But if you jump onto something like Assetto Corsa, Competizione, or iRacing, racing, it's a different ball game. Now, of course, you can change the settings so the force feedback isn't as strong but I always like to leave it on default. I'm trying to make it as realistic as I possibly can. So if the game thinks that's the best feedback, then that is what I will stick to. But yeah, first experience, even though that was only two laps, feels brilliant, feels fantastic. Honestly, feels great. What a wheel. Okay guys, so I've now loaded up Assetto Corsa Competizione on the PC. Let's see what difference this makes on a game like this. Oh wow. Okay, okay, major breaking point. Oh wow, okay, I can feel that so much. Look how much force I'm gonna have to put through <laughs> the steering wheel on that first call. That's remarkable. That is such a difference to my old wheel. Wow. Now obviously there's different things that will come into effect here, like you know, cold brakes, tire wear and all that kind of stuff and cold tires, but the feeling is absolutely sensational. <laughs> the feel you get through the wheel is brilliant and you have to, it feels like I have to work it so much harder to get it where I want to go. It just feels really, well, realistic like you're driving a, a racing car. It's, I've never fully driven one, but I imagine this is pretty damn close to how it would feel. All right, hairpin time now. Let's see what this is like. Slamming on those brakes. 
feel it locking up a little bit. And then we're off again. Right, Schumacher S's, here we go. Slow down a little bit, up on the curb. Oh, <laughs> you can see it as it fights. Oh my goodness me. Here we go, just on the brakes once more. Learn it straight away not to slam him down. Otherwise you're just gonna lock up. Apologies if the uh, if this is not the quickest. I've not played this game in a long time. Here we go. All right, let's get ready for the chicane. We'll go up the curb a little bit here. Breaking hard once more. Oh, it's left out. Wow. <laughs> that is quite a sensation, that is. That is quite something. Ready for a big break point here and slam it down there. And once more. Oh, I can feel the understeer straight away. As soon as you go wide. <laughs> oh, this gameplay is not good, but I am loving this. This feels incredible. I want to give you guys a kind of feel of just how much this wheel bites back when you let go. So I'm going through here, 90 kilometers. Just watch out, look at that. See how violently and quickly that wheel just goes back to neutral if you let go. That's how much force feedback this thing is giving me right now. And if I just slam the brakes, watch this. Remarkable, absolutely remarkable. So what do I think to this wheel and the pedals and the upgrade as a whole? Overall, it's fantastic. You can really feel the quality. The premium, the premium quality is like nothing else. It feels like such a massive upgrade. Yes, it is a big jump in price compared to the Logitech G29 and to this, which is the wheel I'm comparing it to. But until you actually use it, you just you have no idea how much better it is and what i will say is i didn't want to make this review really technical i just wanted it for the guys out there who just think how does it actually feel what's it play like let's not talk about all the numbers how does it feel what does it play like is it worth it and until you actually use it you're, you're going to be 50 50 but as soon as you do it's a game changer it's absolutely brilliant i love it i cannot thank them enough for sending me one and yeah fingers crossed this is, you know, a review that will maybe change your mind and you might purchase one yourself. And fingers crossed, if you do, you'll feel as chuffed as I do whenever I use it on racing games. But yeah, it's something I certainly couldn't live without. So I really hope you found that useful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll catch you for the next one. Ta-da.